Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, we're talking about my favorites and one little asterisk. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It would give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday. So yep, like, make comments, tell your friends, subscribe, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's just dive right in. A lot of these, nothing new, nothing new. Some of them are new and some of them are repeats. I can't help it. I love you. Let's start with that one. You know how I feel about this lover right over here. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Endless Cacao. Like, who are you? I'm not really a brown nude. I'm more of like a pinky nude. Who are you? It's still me. It's still me. I am so, so in love with this friggin' pencil. It is what I have on today. It's so beautiful. Hold on. Hold to the name of the law. Yeah. It is so, so beautiful. Mm-hmm. I guess we're going to go backwards. Let's start with the lips and we'll work our way up. This is so beautiful. And on top of that, you know I have spoken about this Summer Friday's um, Lip Butter Balm. Something about this balm. I don't know. And I have a gajillion. I have a gajillion. Do we do lip decluttering yet? I don't think so. Maybe that's next on the agenda. Girl, I have so many lip products. Something about this balm. It's special. It's buttery and it's balmy. It's so, so good. It is what I have on today. This is the lip combination I have. It's so, so beautiful. And I just did a video about, I think like my summer must haves. And this was in it, I think. I will leave that link below. I'm not really sure like chronologically when these videos are gonna go out, but I have been loving like balms, glosses, oils. I love Ving, what are you talking about? I, you know I've always loved that, but just like now that it's getting warmer out slash it's hot. It went from winter to summer. It is friggin' hot out. I have been loving, loving, loving some kind of a balm, some kind of an oil, some kind of a gloss. This is so damn good. I have been reaching. And here's the thing. Every time I put it on, girl, I have to go get another one. I'm going to put it on my Sephora list every time I go. And for some reason, I never get it. I don't know if it's like just this is um, this is uh, vanilla beige. So I don't know if it's just like this color that I'm loving. Mm, but the formula is so, so good. So I have been loving this combination right here this month. I don't know what happened to me. I really don't know. Here's the controversy right over here. This is the Natasha Denona High Glam Powder Foundation. I have it on today. It's so freaking beautiful. I have an asterisk on it. This is my asterisk because, hold on, let me look. Again, like it, I don't know why, like right over here. And I did use the, um, I didn't use the sponge that was in here. I did use my brush. It was, it's the, I think it's the BK Beauty 106, I think. Do I have it here? Yes. Yes, this is the BK Beauty 106. I know everybody loves the 101, which I have. I love that too. But something about like this kind of domed shape but when i do foundation with a brush i like to stipple first and then i will buff around the perimeters of my face so that's what i used to put this on here's what i'm thinking in my dog on brain it feels it feels like i have absolutely nothing on my face that's what it is it feels beautiful on i did a video of this foundation i'll leave it in the cards over here and i'll also post it down below um, and I did like a wear test, go figure. And I came back and I came back to give you the wear test. I'm thinking in my brain, I can't do powder. I'm 56 years old. I don't have like, um, I don't have dry skin. It's kind of like normal, whatever the heck that is a little bit like shinier in the summer, a little bit drier in the winter, but girl, I don't do powder. Like, you know that I don't even like set with powder a lot. I'll just dust it underneath my eyes and a little bit if i feel like i'm a little bit shiny like for today i did powder a little bit with the charlotte tilbury like on my t-zone and again it looks beautiful but it doesn't look like a powder like where do you see dry i mean look at this granted i have a highlighter here so that doesn't count but just look at my forehead let me just move my hair and just look at it's so beautiful you would never in a million years think that I have a powder foundation on. That's what I love about it. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. But there's my asterisk. For some reason, like right in here, 
it gathers. I have never ever had that experience before. And I will tell you when I did use this the first time, like I grabbed the, the puff that's in here. Let me just show it to you. It's really beautiful. It's so soft and delicious. It's so nice. It's a cross between like a puff and a sponge. It's so, so nice. But when I used it the first time, I literally just went like right over here like that. So I thought, oh, maybe my pores are showing more or maybe it's creasing in my smile lines more because that's where I started. But this time around, I didn't. I stippled, like I said, and I started here and I started to stipple. And then once I got around here, whatever was left on the brush, which was hardly anything, I stippled like the rest over here. It's still gathering a little bit like right over here and i know it's a shocker it may snow in the middle of june i don't know but i did use a primer i don't like it like i know that i've told you guys before every time i use a primer especially over my nose and like right over here i'll use the primer and then i and then i'll go in with like whatever foundation you could see like all my poor dots and that is only when I use a primer, like, have you guys had that experience? Leave it down below for me. I don't know what it is. So of course I put my primer over here on the bridge of my nose. I had to wipe it off. I had to wipe it off, especially like on my nose. All you saw was little dots. I don't know what it is. Leave me some comments below. Um, and that's with any kind of primer. Today I used the Maybelline stick. I'll leave a picture of it right over here. But uh, yeah, I had to wipe it off. But anyway, but that's my asterisk. I think it looks beautiful. It feels like nothing, absolutely nothing on my face slash for some reason it creases like right over here. But I really, really like it. I really like it. And I have been enjoying it more on these warmer days. Love, love, love. I did it. Now, you know, this is nothing new. These are the Patrick Taz um, Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duos, but I just grabbed not too much. Mm-mm. It is gorgeous. Look at that. It is so beautiful. It is what I have on my face today. It is so, so nice. Now, again, I have a powder on, but I want to use the cream. I want to use the cream. So I use the BK Beauty 109 brush. Do you see? It's got like that cute little slant to it. You see that? So what I did, again, normally I use the refer. This is my refer 04. It's a little bit fluffier. You see that? It's a little bit fluffier. This BK Beauty is still fluffy, but it's a little bit more dense. This is a natural hairbrush, by the way. Um, so normally I will go in with my blushes. I'll usually like sweep with this brush, but again, I'm using the cream. That's the best part of this whole duo. It is so beautiful putting them two um, together. It's got a cream, but I got a powder foundation on. Again, struggling, leave it down below. What the hell do you do? So I figured if I use this kind of brush, it's on a slant, it's a little bit more dense, I stippled so I got I went into my powder let's put more on what the heck I went into my powder and what I did is like I just stippled I stippled like this and then with the same brush I used the cream and what look at me what why there's nothing there girl it's a cream I stippled just on the outskirts so just in case it lifted girl I'm gonna hide it with my hairdo no not really but I figured a stippling motion would pick up less if it picked up my foundation and it worked it is so beautiful if you have okay listen don't take my word for it because um i love patrick time and he can do no wrong in my eyes but if you haven't tried these blushes they are so beautiful as a matter of fact i think i have like three or f no i think i have four of them maybe five my daughter went into my stash um can i have one of your patrick Todd blushes? <laughs> now listen um I'm a, I am a share bear-ish with my makeup, but then I'm going to go back and I'm going to replace it. She's like, and that's exactly what she said. I would like to have it. If it's okay with you, I don't want you to replace it. If you feel the need that you're going to replace it, I will not take it. No, girl, go. I Look how many I have. Take it. I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace it. Look, I am the first to admit it. I got a problem. I got a problem with my stash. I don't remember which one um, she picked. I know it was definitely not the, the the three new colors that came out, but I think it was one that I really liked. I think, you know what I think it is? I think it was the one that kind of, I thought was very, very similar to not too much. I can't remember, but you know, doggone well, girl. 
I have to go replace it. But anyway, this is so, so good. What I was saying, if, if by chance you have not used Patrick Ta products and you want to try it out, start off with this. It's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And the eyeshadows are fabulous too. I'm just saying. And speaking of eyeshadows, oh, I did a video last week. I believe it was a full face of nothing new. I'll leave that down below as well. I have been loving loving like these just one shadow looks this is of course the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize in oyster pearl it is what i have on it is so so beautiful here's what i love about going into stash because now that i'm looking the last three products this one included nothing new nothing new so when i did that video girl i fell in love with products that number one um i don't remember i had number two um it's been forever since i touched it i'm like why why did i stop loving you i'm sorry why did i stop loving you it's me it's not you anyway this is so beautiful let me just show it to you it is so beautiful it's so moosey it is so gorge yeah yeah man that look at that can you see look at that shift and shine and deliciousness isn't that so beautiful that's all i have on my lid that's it let me look let me do a double take let me not lie to you let me no that's it I think what I did when I was putting on my blush, I just kind of sweeped it on just right over here a little bit. Don't even remember, but yeah, that is it. It's so beautiful. It is so, e again, now that I'm looking at myself, hold up, girl. It looks like I have like that brown monochromatic kind of look going on. Didn't do that intentionally, but this is what I've been loving lately. It's so simple. And again, I think because May, like right at the end of May, it started getting like hot. It didn't even get like it's getting warmer. Um, you know, no, it just got friggin' hot. Boom, boom, pow. Honestly, for me personally, I don't really like to wear a lot of makeup in the summertime. It's just too friggin' hot. It's too stinking hot. It's gonna melt right the hell off. Man, I'm just, like, again, I'm just admiring my complexion. It looks so good. I'm on the fence. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, the last thing I want to do is wear like 10,000 pounds of makeup. That's why these one shadow products are so daggone good. And, and, I, and I have tons and tons. I have sticks. I have pots like this. I have like a doe foot, but something about these Charlotte Tilburys. I think this is my third color, but something about the Charlotte Tilbury on mature eyelids. I think it looks so beautiful beautiful i don't think it accentuates um my textured eyelids some i don't know what it is in this formula and again i know this poor girl gets duped up the wazoo with her products but something about her form and even though let me just put this out there even though girl those dupes are close as hell they are so close and you want to save your coins i i i look i'm with you boy it's a jungle out there nowadays you can't even buy a doggone meal for your family let alone i'm going to spend my money on friggin ass makeup come on not ne not necessary not necessary in this day and age but i digress something about her formula even like the um her hollywood flawless filter that elf mimicked and i have them both and i love them both and they're both special in their own way but something about the charlotte tilbury hollywood there's something like a tiny bit different would it matter like if we're saving coins absolutely not but i already have them both just something about her products a tiny bit a tiny tiny bit more special in my opinion in my opinion you do you you disagree great you agree great you you do you but these eyes to mesmerize single shadows they are so gorgeous and for me personally i think they are fabulous for mature skin my opinion my opinion now i'm going to this little lover right over here this is the maybelline um tattoo studio up to 36 hour long wear brow pencil i don't know how long i've had this i'm not gonna lie i don't even have a cap for the spoolie I use this, like I said in my other video, I'm in love. I don't know what, like I'm looking at a pencil. I adore, adore the e.l.f. Instabrow pencil. It's nice and waxy. I really, really like how that feels. I assumed, girl, don't assume. You know what that means? Don't assume. Um, I assumed this would be something of, this, of similar texture. This pencil is so friggin' soft. It is what I have on. 
it's so soft and so creamy but it feels and looks like a powder i cannot explain it it looks so and you know girl you know i'm not an eyebrowy kind of girl you know that but i'm getting there it feels so good like even in that other video i was tongue-tied i couldn't even explain or express to you the feeling if i close my eyes you know what it is i think because when you get like when you when you already have like a notion in your brain that this is what it's gonna feel like or this is what it's gonna do and then it doesn't it, it's completely different like you, you gotta give your brain a second to be like huh interesting again this feels creamy slash powdery i can't explain it it looks maybe it's like this it feels creamy going on but when you but when it lays down it lays like it looks like a powder does that make sense i'm in love with this friggin pencil i love it i'm gonna have to go get some more this color did i tell you what the color is this is 257 medium brown it's so damn good and it lasts 36 hours not that i'm gonna keep my makeup on for 36 hours but it lasts 36 hours i love it i'm gonna have to start doing more videos on like shopping my stash because girl i don't even know what the hell i have i don't even know what i have love 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 and last but not least of um girl i don't even know what i have do you know how much I have loved this mascara? And you know I have told you so many times, me personally, you do whatever you want. You do not need to buy high-end mascara. I think drugstore mascara does a phenomenal job with their mascaras, if not even better than high-end. My opinion, I forgot all about you. And I'm asking you right now, will you forgive me? Will you forgive me, Maybelline Sky High? It's so freaking good. It's this freaking wand. Look how flimsy and quirky. What? It works. And for me personally, these are like these rubbery bristles. You see that? I can't do them. For some reason, I don't know what it is. I always poke myself in the eye. Like, what is your freaking problem? It doesn't matter if it's a rubber or a brush bristle. It doesn't matter. It's just a bristle. But for some reason, every time I use a rubbery bristle wand, I poke myself in the eye. And again, I don't know if it's like this flimsy wand that kind of like just hugs your lashes and it just goes with the motion of your hand so easily. Where if it was like more stiff, and they all are. They're all stiff. This is the first product I've ever seen that has a, a wand that wiggles. It kind of like just you have to guide it you know what i'm trying to say where this one kind of like guides along with the motion of your hand if that makes any kind of sense you know what i mean it's so so good so yes i have re-fallen in love with the maybelline sky high it is so so good so so good so oh hell no i almost forgot to share with you the butter glow bronzing serum from physicians formula you guys, I have been using this every single day mixed in with my face moisturizer. It is fantastic. It's non-greasy and it leaves this beautiful warmth of color. I just cannot stop using it. So anyway, I think that is it for the month of May. I can't believe we're already in June, but here we are. Anyway, so that is it, guys. This is my video. These are my favorites for the month of May with an asterisk. I, I don't know what to say about this one. I just don't know. But anyway, that is it. Leave me some comments below. What have you guys been enjoying lately? Leave it below. Thank you so, so much for sharing your time with me. And as always, you guys be good to each other, love each other, and have a great, great day. Bye.